Hi, I'm Bobby Lee from Square. Today we're going to learn how to add Square gift cards to an existing payment form integration. In order to accept gift cards, we'll need to create a client-side and server-side component. For the client-side, we'll integrate the payment form for gift cards into a checkout page so we can provide secure tokens, which we call nonces, to your backend to accept gift card payments. And for the server side, we'll walk through a Node.js backend example whose code is in a file called server.js, where you'll set up an endpoint to create a payment for the posted nonce. Now step one of five for the client side portion of this tutorial. Open up your editor and in the index.html file, we're going to add square payment form library and CSS references to a checkout page. That's why I've added this script and link into my header. Now step two, we'll add the label div tag and button into the body for the gift card entry form. Now in step three, we'll initialize the new Square Payment form. It's important to note that gift card requires having its own instance of Square Payment form. If you are adding gift cards to a payment page that already uses an instance of Square Payment form for credit and debit cards, you must initialize a second Square Payment form object to manage the gift card form. Next, within the object, you'll see it's looking for your application ID. So head on over to your Square Developer Dashboard. So I'm logged in already, and I'm going to select the application I'll be testing. Then I'm going to make sure I'm in sandbox environment because we'll be using gift card test values. Then scroll down and copy your application ID and paste it back into your editor. Okay, now step four. We'll generate a payment nonce from the gift card entered by the buyer with this submit gift card click function. This is an asynchronous operation whose results is returned in the card nonce response received callback that you added in the previous step. And lastly, step five, let's post the gift card nonce to your backend in the post data function and move on to creating an endpoint to grab that nonce and process the gift card payment. Okay, that's it for the client side portion of this tutorial. Now let's head back to the browser and refresh the page and you should see the gift card placeholder you just built. Now that our gift card form is working, let's move on to the backend portion where we'll complete the gift card payment. In this section, we'll be updating a backend component that accepts a Square gift card nonce and creates a payment using the create payment endpoint. So to start, open your server.js file, look for replace with access token, and head back to your Square developer dashboard to grab your personal access token. And paste that here. And then if you look here, I created a process gift card endpoint that accepts a post request. We then set our request body to request params, which is where our nonce will be. Next step is to get the amount to pay. So to simplify things for testing purposes, this function will return $1 slash 100 cents. So we don't need to create an order for this example to work. In a production application, you'll query your checkout session for the purchase balance to be paid. Since this is a gift card, each payment made on an order reduces the amount left to pay on the order. An important thing to call out are the autocomplete and accept partial authorization fields and why I set mine to true and false. We set autocomplete to false, so when we run the gift card request, we get authorization for the payment, but not charge the payment source. Later, you have the option to either complete the payment, also referred to as capture, by using a follow-up complete payment request, or you can cancel the payment, also referred to as void, by using the cancel payment request. And we set accept partial authorization field to true because Square will return a payment with an amount money less than or equal to what was requested, instead of failing the payment request and not asking the user to pay the remainder with a card or another gift card. For example, suppose we have a Square gift card with $5 on it. I make a request with autocomplete set to false, accept partial authorization set to true, and amount money set to $20. Square will return back an amount money of just $5 in the payment response, since that is all the gift card had on it, even though we requested to authorize $20. If we were to set autocomplete to true, the request would actually fail. And in this case, it's now up to you, the application developer, to compare amount money in the response with amount money specified in the request. If the amount is less, your application should prompt the buyer for an additional payment to cover the remainder or avoid the gift card payment you just authorized. And that's it. We set up an endpoint on the backend, so now let's finally run the full example in the browser. So head back to your gift card form, refresh the page, and paste in these gift card test values linked below. 7783-3200 and the rest zeros. And you should see payment completed. 
And now let's also check transactions in your Seller Sandbox dashboard by navigating back to your Squared Developer dashboard. Scroll down to you see Default Test Account and click Open. Once it's open, click on Transactions. And voila, a gift card payment towards a fake remaining order balance in $1. And there you have it, folks. We just demoed a gift card payment from start to finish. If you have any other questions, check out those show notes below for the gift card payment form docs to help you get started. Until next time, get coding.